Two furlongs, they've drawn three lengths clear from Jazeera. Rayhan is fourth, LV Farah is fifth, and they turn for home. It's Shawayman Al Kabir who leads them down the straight. Clear by two lengths from Cali May. Jazeera plugging on back in third. The front trio are clear. Coming down to the final furlong, Shawayman Al Kabir in front. Clear by two lengths from Cali May, who's not getting any further behind, but isn't really closing either. Jazeera's back in third, 50 yards left to go. Shawayman Al Kabir out in front, and Shawayman Al Kabir here under the birthday boy Bradley Paris Clark. And on the inside of how really little Red Nell goes for an ambitious run against the rail and gets it in the hands of Chloe Swalfield and all of a sudden little Red Nell has swept to the front. So down the straight little Red Nell with how really now trying to respond on the outside. This pair are away from Windsor Rose and Maidan style. They're inside the final furlong on the far side. Little Red Nell. How really in the centre. Windsor Rose widest of all. It's closing in. 50 yards to go. Little Red Nell. Windsor Rose on the near side. Windsor Rose gets on on top close home the inside every chance in third Zane Zodiac flat to the boards but not getting any further behind in fourth in pretending he's making a little bit of headway as they turn for home inside the two a to little race with Coline nipping up the inside to try and draw level out wide of those is Callista widest of all is Zane Zodiac the pennies beginning to drop down to the final furlong a to little race with Coline looking a real threat on the inside Zane Zodiac on the near side they're into the closing stages Coline on the far side Zane Zodiac on the near side a to little race Waste between horses. Zane Zodiac on the near side, staying on just too strong and provides Steve Harris. Three lengths back to Crown of Salona, then Cali May, who's creeping a little bit closer away to the right. Rayhan now called upon for maximum effort as well, but it's the 17 year old Roche de Kairou who leads them down inside the final furlong and a half. Clear by a couple of lengths from Yakin in second. Crown of Salona is between that pair. Rayhan to the far side, and then Cali May. They come inside the final furlong. Roche de Kairou against the rail. Crown of Salona, one off the rail. Is inching closer. Rayhan in third, a half foot on to go. Roche de Kairou with Crown of Salona finishing off very strongly to the far side. Crown of Salona is just in front, and Crown of Salona wins by an end. Top trip has two furlongs left to go. Not showing any signs of stopping just yet. To the inside, the grey. Senor Devil Check is now beginning to creep a little bit closer. Ojemba's back in third. Then Shuayman Al Kabir. Just over a furlong left to go. Top trip coming back to Senor Double Check on the inside. There are five lengths clear from Al B. Farah, who's running on inside the final furlong. Top trip on the right. Senor Double Check on the left. They're wide apart. They come down to the final half furlong. Top trip against the rail. Senor Double Check out in the centre. Top trip is still in front, racing up towards the line. A brilliant ride from the front from Steph Gondola. The top trip made all. Back pair as this has turned pretty much into a bit of a dash as Man of Dreams leads on the turn back for home. Zane Zodiac is responding to Steve Harrison's urging around the outside. Kamikaze's back in third, then Kim with the Frog and finally Gethly Wen. Heads a turn for home inside the two. Man of Dreams the first to straight and clear by two lengths. Kamikaze switches to the inside. Zane Zodiac flat to the boards, then Kim with the Frog. They come down to the final furlong. Man of Dreams with Kamikaze poking his nose up against the rail. It's Man of Dreams on the near side. Kamikaze on the far side. Little in it. Kamikaze Kamikaze in Man of Dreams, tight. Kamikaze on the far side. He's back in third place and a couple of lengths behind the front pair now. We're now on the turn back towards the home straight. Royal Acclamation is back in fourth, turning for home. Amadeva with fight or flight switching to the inside. Still a couple of lengths down. Valentine Blue is rallying to the cause. He's trying to come back for more between horses. Down the home straight. On the near side, Amadeva in the centre. Valentine Blue on the far side, fight or flight. Three across the track. Valentine Blue in the centre. Fight or flight on the far side. Amadeva on the near side. Valentine blue in front having been headed coming down the then Azizi in the stripe cap, who continues to keep on for pressure. Out wide of those is Jameer Upon, but it is Kamikaze with a furlong and a half left to go. Clear by a couple of lengths. Will he last it out? Azizi with a stripe cap, one from the left. Furthest to the left is Jameer Upon, a furlong to go. Kamikaze on the far side. Azizi in the centre. Jameer Upon to the outside. Inside the final half furlong. Kamikaze on the far side, finding just enough from Azizi. Jameer Upon out wide, but it's Kamikaze in pace. Fuller in front, approaching the line. And Kamikaze. Kamikaze prevails.
Achilles still holding sway on the inside of Man of Dreams. Sir Agri just nursed into contention to the inside. Two lengths back to Palmer T. His heads are turned for home. Zane's Achilles the first to straight and leads them down the straight. Man of Dreams to the outside. A gap for Sir Agri to try and exploit towards the inside. Down to the final furlong. Zane's Achilles has the lead. Clear by two lengths. Man of Dreams on the near side and Sir Agri on the far side. Both trying to close. Zane's Achilles all out. Sir Agri on the far side inching closer. Zane's Achilles sticks his neck out, he stays further than this, and he prevails by a neat length. It's back to the top weight. Barton the Faust on the inside of Jaldi Caro as they're about to make the turn for home. Just over a quarter of a mile left to go. Sharaf the first to straighten from Oriental Nip to the inside. Jaldi Caro and Barton the Faust both just looking for a bit of racing room. Barton the Faust swings quite wide as they turn for home. Down to the final furlong. Oriental Nip on the far side of Sharaf. Barton the Faust taking a while to pick up. Jaldi Caro goes for a run against the rail. Two lengths separates the quartet into the final 50 yards. Oriental Nip with Jaldi Caro finishing strongly against the rail. It's going to be dead! Desperately close between them. On the outside of Emerald Girl, as they're about to make the turn for home. Valentine Blue is the leader inside the two. Royal Acclamation, the nearest pursuer. Two lengths to Red Myth, then Fight or Flight, then Emerald Girl and Granny Anne, widest of all. Down the home straight, Valentine Blue remains the one to pass from Royal Acclamation. Fight or Flight, keeping on quite gamely in third. Red Myth and then widest of all, Granny Anne, entering the final 150 yards. Valentine Blue has the lead, leads by length and a half from Fight or Flight. Red Myth and Granny Anne on the outside but Valentine Blue in front and he follows up side, then you're double check tracking that one through, Whisper to the near side being held together in the cheap pieces, then Southpaw and Synergy, and behind those is Callie May, they make the run down to the final two furlongs, and Whisper, she strikes the front in the hands of Paige Fuller, edges away from Noble Athlete to the far side, behind those then is Amy Zing Zane, then Senor Double Jet to the near side, Synergy is keeping on, likewise Callie May inside the final furlong, Whisper has the lead, clear by two lengths from Amy Zing Zane, Synergy and Callie May up against the sand side run running well, are both finishing strongly, Whisper all out, Cali May and Synergy are closing, Whisper on the far side, still just in front from Cali May, they hit the line tight, Whisper on the far side of Cali May. In the lead by Vendetta, there's two lengths to Senor Double Check who races third, behind those is Cali May and the others are all struggling to land a blow, they're coming inside the final two, Senor Double Check and Vendetta who's got a narrow lead are the front pair, they've gone a couple of lengths clear, ultimate four keeping on in third and there's a long gap back to the rest with Crown of Salona staying on from a long way back. Senor Double Check on the outside gives Vendetta a bump and taking advantage on the inside is Ultimate Force under Steve Harrison. There's three virtually in line as they run up towards the judge. It's very tight. Farrah back in third, then Callie May, Senor double check now going past her. Crown of Salona at the rear of the field, furlong and a half left to go. Vindetta racing across to the sand side running ground, just in front from top trip. LB Farrah out in the centre, Senor double check is back in fourth but closing, coming inside the final furlong. Vindetta has the lead from top trip. LB Farrah and Senor double check, 150 yards left to go. Vindetta has the lead in the hands of Phil Collington, clear by two lengths and edging away now from top trip. And Vindetta will get off the mark here at the 14th attempt. Vendetta wins the last, top trip second. The nearest pursuer, just over on X down. Callie May is also running on in the green cap to the outside, then top trip and Shawei Manal Kabir. A further one and a half left to go. Noble Athlete has his nose in front. Clear by two lengths from Geffley Wen to the outside. Callie May is back in third, coming down to the final furlong. The veteran has his nose in front. Noble Athlete, he's idling quite badly out in front, racing up towards the line. But it's Noble Athlete for career victory number 13. And he's six El Salon making a sweeping move around the outer. Ashraf in the cheap pieces to the inside. Then Kamikaze and Sirar Gri. Tokil having briefly been outpaced is keeping on for pressure. Poco Louis Vetra at the rear. But El Salam is sent for home at the top of the home straight and has gone three to four lengths clear from Sable Companion. Ashraf in second. A break to Sirar Gri. Then El Ciro Sia coming down to the final furlong. El Salam has the lead. Ashraf on the near side just over on X down. Each in closer. The leader skips over the path there. El Salam. And Ashraf is bearing down on the near side. Top weight got there. Ahead of Rosh Dekeru, Tamarin Zane continue to travel, continues to travel strongly. About to be angled to the outside as heads the turn for home.
Tiger Lily is the leader. Sam Rings aim to the outside, gives chase. Roche de Kru trying to rally against the rail. Down to the final furlong. Tiger Lily in the center. Sam Ring Zing on the near side being held together. Roche de Kru back in third, just over a length away. Tiger Lily has the lead from Sam Ring Zing with a half furlong to go. Tiger Lily on the far side, sticking her neck out very willingly. And Tiger Lily will shed the maiden tag at the fourth attempt. They're four lengths clear from Sleepy Lucy, who's gone into third. Then How Really and Little Red Nell from the back sky chart running on a bit. The front pair eyeball each other at the top of the home straight. Windsor Rose on the left, Jig along on the right. Five lengths back to Sleepy Lucy in third. They come down to the final furlong. Windsor Rose on the left, Jig along on the right. They're still inseparable into the final half furlong. Windsor Rose on the far side, Jig along on the near side. Windsor Rose and Jig along going all the way to the line. Windsor Rose just too strong. In those then round the outside is Geffley Wed and then Catwalk. Heads the turn for home, coming down to the two. Kermit the Frog on the left, Unity Bell on the right. Two lengths back to Vendetta and Cyril Gree, the two stable companions trying to close in. Four lengths back to Catwalk and then Geffley Wed and Callista coming down to the final furlong. Kermit the Frog and Unity Bell. Cyril Gree sitting in their slipstreams. He needs to be played late. Geffley Wed is keeping on to the near side, back in fourth, down to the final furlong. Kermit the Frog on the far side, Unity Bell in the centre. Cyril Gree trying to join that pair. Three lengths to Geffley when Kermit the Frog far side, Unity Bell in the middle, Cyril Gree on the near side, coming home just the stronger. The top weight gets his nose in front and he's rewarded for his consistency this season. To the Next as heads the turn for home, inside the two, Altello the leader. Here comes K.O. Cat with a challenge. Tock Hill on that one's outside. Then Man of Dreams and Javalali heads the turn for home and it is K.O. Cat on the outside who comes to join Altello. Man of Dreams is next, then Tock Hill, Javalali running on in the black cap. Could yet have a say entering the final first. Long. It is K.O. Cat with a lead from El Tallo on the far side. Javalali on the near side. He's trying to close in. K.O. Cat is all out in the hands of Simon Walker. Javalali on the near side. He's bearing down for Phil Collington and he's getting up in the shadows of the post. The top weight prevails.